can't stop okay, okay, hustling okay, okay. every minute, every second. What is up, y'all? Y'all already know what you're gonna say. Where have you been? My thing to you is don't worry about it. I'm here now, ain't it? And we're spending this time together. Yeah. Over here, boy, bros, brews, and botches. On this episode of what we're gonna call Sips. Yeah, that's right. Today we're gonna be talking about this beer right here. Orange Blossom Brewing Company's Orange Blossom Pilsner. Yeah, they're out of Lakeland, Florida. If you didn't know, this thing coming in at 5.5% Pilsner. And you already know that what we talk about with that kind of thing is I'm going to drink all of them. And you're going to drink all of them too because I'm good and sharing like that. Anyway, if y'all remember any time I've ever talked about a Pilsner before, Pilsners often start off with like a little bit of a malty characteristic and then it kind of goes into a slight bitterness and then towards the end of it, it finishes usually dry and clean. But they decided to put orange blossom honey in this. If you never had orange blossom honey, it's amazing. I recommend you try some. It's literally the sweetness of honey because it is honey, but it's been pulled from orange trees, which gives it like a slightly citrus orangey flavor. It's weird. Anyway, just to get my trusty glass here, it says drink local. We're gonna pour this boy in here and we'll see. Check that out, yo. A lot of people think, well, it's gonna be orange in color. No, not necessarily. It's probably gonna take on more of the characteristics of honey in terms of any kind of coloration outside of the beer. But uh, what we see here is just pretty much a fresh, clean. Yeah. Anyway, let's give it a shout. Ah, oh, yo, baby. So, with how Pilsners usually hit you right in the face with the malt, this hits you right off the cuff with the sweetness. You can taste a little bit of that orange blossom honey in there. And as it goes, you hit the little bit of the bitterness. And then towards the end, it's super refreshing. It's got like a little bit of a dryness to it, but I also pick up more of the sweetness on the back end. It's pretty amazing. For over here, boy, it's going to be... A five out of five caps. Yo, if you ever find yourself down in the southern part of Georgia or somewhere in Florida, I recommend you get some of this or they may have it in your neck of the woods. Anyway, you already know what it is. Drop down in the comments if you want to see me review something like that and go and check it out on there with our link tree where you can find us and all the stuff we got going on. Yo, for bros, boobs, and botches, I've been over here, boy. And now, time for you to get out of my house. Every second, can't stop. Okay, okay.